In reality, when we design a project, whether it's an office, a flat, or a villa, we have to export multiple plans for each level or section. This includes furniture plans, dimension plans, sections, lighting plans, and plans to visualize rooms next to each other to see their accessibility of different spaces. However, in Revit, we can manage views by their discipline, such as architecture, structure, and MEP, we do not have sections for those types that I mentioned. So let's see how we can create our own customized view sections. First, as you can see, we have all of the disciplines in here. So to reduce the views, I'm going to delete some of them. I will click on this part and expand all of them. And then I'm going to simply delete these views. Now we only have architectural views. So in here, as you can see, I have created multiple plans for each part. For each level, we have three different types. This one, which is going to be our main plan. And then we have dimension plan. And after that, we have furniture plan. And we have all of these views for the second floor too. Now, to create your sub-discipline, we need to create a parameter first. So, go to Manage tab and click on Project Parameter. In here, we are going to create a new parameter and let's call it simply View. Make sure it's on Instance. Change data type to Text and from the Category section, you need to scroll down and check this Views section. This way, if you go to any view, it doesn't matter what type it is, you will always see this text parameter in here and in front of it, you can enter any text that you want. This is where we are going to enter the sub-discipline's name. So for this part, for this plan, I'm going to enter the main plan. For the next one, which is the dimension, I'm going to go with dimension. And then for the furniture plan, I'm going to simply enter furniture to this part. And you need to repeat it for all of the levels that you have. Now, for the next part, we need to go to Project Browser section and in here, I'm going to right-click on Views section. In this part, I'm going to go to Browser Organization. As you can see, the discipline is checked, so this means that the Project Browser is divided by only disciplines. To create a new one for ourselves, we need to click on new and first give it a name. Let's go with just simply view. Okay. And then in this part, we need to go to grouping and sorting. Open the first section and from here, you need to select the permit name. We created it as view, so I'm going to click on this one and okay. Now I'm going to check this one and apply. Perfect. As you can see now, we have dimensions, furniture, and main section which we created on this part in properties section. And all of them have their own plan type. This is the dimension plan and this part is for furniture. So I think this is really better because it's more organized and we can find anything we want much better. In this part also, you can see the elevation and the third floor plan and site plan. I'm going to select these two parts and I'm going to add them to main section. And for this elevation, I'm going to select them all. And in front of this view part, I'm going to enter elevation. So they have another sub-discipline for themselves. Perfect. If you enjoyed watching this tutorial, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you soon.